Welcome to the Bodmin Viewing, and today we're going to be talking about the story of Nwanku Kanu. A Super Eagles legend and icon, Kanu will go down in history as one of Nigeria's greatest ever players. But how did it all start? Kanu was born in Oweri, Nigeria, and from a very young age showed promise as a footballer. He started out his youth career in the Nigerian Football League, playing for different clubs and impressing many European scouts, quickly earning a move to Dutch giants Ajax in 1993. Almost immediately, Kanu established himself in the first team and would go on to become a fan's favourite due to his obvious talent and goal scoring ability. Whilst at Ajax, Kanu would go on to score 25 goals in 54 games and played a vital role in helping his club win the Champions League in 1995. The following year would end up being very successful for Kanu and it started off with them moving clubs again, this time to sign for Serie A side Inter Milan. Before joining up with his new teammates, he would captain the Nigeria national team at the 1996 Olympics held in Atlanta, where they would go on to create history. After reaching the semi-final of the tournament to meet one of the favourites Brazil, Kanu would step up in that game and score two late goals to win the match 4-3 in extra time to take Nigeria to the final. Here they would meet Argentina, and after another close game, Kanu and his teammates would win the match 3-2 and ultimately win gold for Nigeria. In no small part due to his efforts for club and country, Kanu would go on to be named African Footballer of the Year for 1996. Unfortunately, the start of his Inter Milan career would be marred by injuries, one of which would be a serious heart defect that required surgery. This would keep him out of the side until the spring of 1997, and he would have to fight for his place back in the star-studded squad. Over the next two years, Kanu had limited game time at Inter, playing a total of 20 matches and scoring one memorable goal for his club. Although unable to hold down a starting place at Inter around this time, Kanu was still called up to the national side for France 98, where he helped Nigeria top their group and make it to the round of 16. By 1999, due to his lack of first team football at Inter, Kanu chose to leave Italy and sign for Arsenal to play in the Premier League. Now playing an important role at his new club with their squad rotation system, Kanu became very popular with the Arsenal fans thanks to his goal scoring ability and his signature two finger salute celebration based on the team's nickname, the Gunners. Kanu was again awarded African Football of the Year in 1999, and he would also score one of his most famous hat tricks this year against Chelsea, scoring three goals in 15 minutes to help his side win 3-2. As more high profile players began to arrive at the club, Kanu was then being used more as an impact sub, where he could still play a crucial role over the next few years. He would also continue to represent his country at multiple African Cup of Nations, helping Nigeria reach the final in 2000, along with playing at the 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea. By 2004 at club level, Kanu would become a part of Arsenal's history, as he was a member of the Invincible squad that finished the Premier League undefeated in the 2003-2004 season. This would prove to be his final season at Arsenal, and after playing 196 games and scoring 44 goals for the club, upon his contract expiring that summer, he left to sign for the newly promoted West Bromwich Albion. Kanu would end up spending two years at West Brom and scoring nine goals in 57 appearances, along with helping his new side avoid relegation in his first season. After his contract expired at Albion in 2006, Kanu would then sign for Portsmouth as a free agent. Here he would see a return to goal scoring form, finishing as the club's top goal scorer in his first season and going on to play a massive role in helping his side win the FA Cup the following year. Even at this late stage in his career, Kanu was still being selected for Nigeria to play at major tournaments. He played at the 2006 and 2008 African Cup of Nations, and he also played at the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, after which he announced his international retirement, with a total of 87 caps and 13 goals for his country. Unfortunately by 2012, Portsmouth ran into major financial issues and would enter administration causing the club to try and terminate Kanu's contract early. This ultimately led to Kanu choosing to retire from football, ending his time at Portsmouth with 28 goals in 166 games. Nwanku Kanu always stood out during his career, not only for his large stature, but also due to his technical ability and the unpredictable manner in which he could score goals. He is rightfully so, considered by many to be one of the greatest African players of all time, and to some, the greatest Nigerian player ever.
Thanks for watching and as always this is the Bosman View. We hope you enjoyed the video and if there's any other football topics you'd like covered drop us a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video if you could leave us a like that'd be great. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.